I don't know if it was all those episodes of Little House on the Prairie that I watched as a kid, but in my mind's eye, I was always going to have a home perched above a valley just like this, right next to the sea. I can't believe it's actually come true. It took 60 years, but here I am. My goal is to get all of this thing, this central piece, sanded down and whitewashed. And whitewashed at least five, or maybe six or seven coats as a final skin on the, on the building. Marcos and Adonis are So because I'm an amateur, I decided to get these different brushes to see which one works best for me. I think the shelves are going to be quite fussy, so that's why I got this small one. So I figured I'd give myself a chance by having a few different brushes to choose from. And rubber gloves, of course. This is a monumental day. We're gonna finally take off all the old plaster on the side of the house that shows the most. But before we can get started, we need to go get scaffolding.
Di come spiti di come l'era. Tapare me, ok. Tapare me, ok. This wall was by far the weakest, and that's why we have put a ring around the upper level in order to secure the wall from above. When we finally opened it up, it became obvious why it was such a weak wall. There was an enormous vertical gap in it, which didn't make a lot of sense. And there were several large holes. Ah, it's like my mask. Tosu, tosu noris. Bravo. Stainless steel mesh will be tied into the old wall and it will allow us to put a very thick and strong coat of plaster on the building. It also looks like there'll be plenty left over to do some repairs on the small storage room in the back garden. To think only a week or two ago, I was asking viewers to chime in on whether I should use this smooth look of windows or the framed look. It's pretty funny because it's gone in a totally different direction now, now that the bricks have been exposed. That afternoon, I stayed on the building site until late in the afternoon, and I built some molds for the bricks that we had exposed. You'll see that in the next episode when we begin to replaster this north wall. Today I planted three oaks 
in relatively close proximity to each other because the idea is when they mature, they'll cross pollinate. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And until next time, have a great one.